ego mind, and your true self. Let's crack this nut wide open, shall we? It's not just that you say you're going to do something and then you don't do it. It's more bizarre than that. You do the opposite of what you said you were going to do. For example, you say you're going to eat healthily, but then you go on a sugar binge. So, what gives? Do you have a split personality? Are you delusional? What's going on? Why do you lose the plot? The answer is simple, yet life-changing. You see, you may think of yourself as being one person because you wake up each morning, put your clothes on, go about your day, and engage with the world around you. It's just you being you, but this isn't the case. It may appear you're responsible for what you think, say, and do, but this is an illusion. There is a hidden truth. In fact, there are two completely different people inside of you. Oh yes, it's true. You have two distinct sides to yourself. They are opposites. The one is good for you, and the other is bad for you. The one will make you sick or sicker, and the other will sustain health and wellness. They're called your ego mind and your true self. Ego mind. Your ego mind is the mask you show the world. It's who you pretend to be, not who you actually are. It's what you've become. It's who you think you should be and who you want other people to think you are. It tells you how to think, feel, and act, and it wants to be in control all the time. It is also the culprit behind all your negative characteristics and is therefore often referred to as your lower self. Be aware. Your ego mind loves instant gratification and sensory stimulation and will happily allow you to harm yourself and compromise your health in the present moment if your actions satisfy your immediate desires or comfort your woes. True Self On the other hand, your true self is who you really are. It's often referred to it as the higher self because to access it, you must rise above your lower self, the ego mind. It's the part of you that is spiritual, eternal, and divine. It's the essence of your being. The core of your inner goodness. It is ever-present and always accessible. When you reconnect with your true self, you transcend the self-destructiveness, pain, misery, lack, fear, doubt, and negativity of your ego mind and you feel energetic, creative, alive, and full of possibility. Healing Journey makes sense of the battle of ego mind versus true self. Understanding these two facets of yourself is essential on a healing journey. It's critical for you to be able to identify which part of you is expressing itself at any given time. When you can tell the difference between the thoughts and feelings of your ego mind and the thoughts and feelings of your true self, then, and only then, can you make conscious choices about your behavior. Trust me, your sole purpose in life is to find your true self. When you live from your true self, you discover your true nature. You always do what's best for you and your loved ones in the long run. You live in harmony with Mother Nature, abide by the natural laws, cut out your vices, and promote health and healing in your body every day. Think about it. Each day you either promote health in your body or disease. What do you do? Who is controlling your life, your ego mind or your true self?